Alright, watch this. Why is that sticking up there like that? So when I go like this, where is the air exerting its force? Inside or outside? Inside. Both. Both. I push these molecules out of the middle of it. There's no more, no more air. <laughs> there's no more air molecules in the middle, right? So there's nothing to push out. So the only thing pushing on it is pushing from the outside, right? So just stick in there. Isn't that cool? It's kind of like that pressure mat. Expand. So inside of here, when I when I put those candles in there, the air inside of the bottle expands. Is the That's what my science teacher did. <laughs> The egg thing, except you <laughs> let a piece of cake. So what push that air into the bottle? That whole sea of air, that whole ocean of air from the outside, just shoves it right up in. So knowing that's part of the science, how maybe could I get the egg out? And if I put more air in, it'll maybe blow it back out. And what Pascal's principle said is if you put a little bit of pressure on some fluid, that pressure is spread out everywhere on the fluid. So when you go like this and the water feels this kind of thing where they can raise a car up yeah. in the air in a garage, this is the science to let them figure out how to do that. If you put pressure down here on this smaller... Sometimes at the, in the factory when they make a package of ketchup, they get, per, they get ketchup in that little packet, but they also get a little bit of air. So most ketchup packets have a little... If I put pressure on the system, the water is going to put equal pressure everywhere, right? But what's going to happen to the air if you put pressure... It's going to compress. So it's going to compress, so that bubble inside of the ketchup packet is going to get smaller. And that's going to make that air get smaller, it'll, meet the, it'll make the density greater. And so if the density is greater, greater than water, it's going to what? Uh, yeah, it'll sink if the density. Oh, yeah. See if you can bring it back up and let them back, let them back down. Yeah. Here, I'll do it. Is to put a got a bicycle pump here, and the bicycle pump will put more air into the very. Okay. Okay. And that's a whole the Heimlich maneuver. That's what you do if somebody's choking. I think that you can do with them. I'm choking. Oh, and I got. I don't yeah, I know what it is. I've got a, maybe my throat looks a little bit like this, and I've got something right in the cap of it. What might make the food shoot out of my cap and you my throat. And so if you exert force on the fluid right here, it causes an increase in pressure everywhere. And this has a means of escape. And so, like, if this was me and this ketchup packet was stuck in my throat, and I went, hoo, 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 and did the Heimlich maneuver on the ball, it might shoot that food right out of my tube of my throat. The exact same kind of science. Apparently, that wasn't my food. You have, wait, wait, Justin. You put, did you get, did you put one on for her? You're ready, just fill up your bottle of water. Thank you so much for doing that. No, crazy straight. It says crazy straight, not sweet. Full of water. Just fill the rest of the way up back to water. Did you turn it? Pretty much it. Test it out. Squid that he's about to submerge in water. That's hers over there. That squiddy works.
We didn't weigh the squiddies in all the way up. Hey, Tilly, this one's yours. See, it's all fun to put it. Oh, so is this one. Similar, they're all made up of lots of bubbles inside. They're compressing. They're compressing. Oh, wow, those are so good. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, they're compressing. 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 Yeah, they